Minnesota fight and Vikings back at practice on Wednesday, the first day of implementation for the game plan to we're about to whip some bodies ass on Sunday at Seattle Seahawks. Well, hopefully they'll kick the Seahawks ass as opposed to kicking the Vikings ass, which they've done the first two weeks, but it's neither here nor there. Anyway, so here is the list of uh, players that were on the injury report. The only DNP was Dalvin Cook with that ankle that he dinged up towards the end of the Arizona Cardinals game. Also was reportedly dealing with a stinger. And so, I mean, Dalvin banged up. We understand. It, it certainly happens. But uh, Zimmer's talked about that he is going to be riding Dalvin Cook because they're just trying to get a win. And Dalvin is a stud. He's a warrior. He'll be fine and good to go on Sunday. Even if he doesn't practice all week, uh, I do expect Dalvin to be in the lineup on Sunday in some capacity. And the rest were limited. Uh, so Anthony Barr, still working back from that mystery knee injury, has been out for the first two weeks of the season. And if he sits out another week, I mean – guess he could just put him on IR in hindsight uh would have saved a roster spot but it'd be what it'd be but Barr you know even without Anthony Barr in the lineup Eric Kendricks and Nick Candlelight Vigil have been holding down Blake Lynch has been uh cleaning up those loose linebacker snaps on defense as well so take your time take your time 55 uh the only injuries that are new uh is Brashad Breland had the back shoulder injury now he's left with injuries both in the Cincinnati game as well as the Arizona game uh we'll, we'll see how he progresses during this week now performance wise I would prefer to see Cameron Tiny Dantzler who performed extremely well when he came in for Breland after uh double B left with an injury against Arizona a redemption story for Cameron Dantzler who was a healthy scratch week one also added to the list Patrick Peterson with a toe now I do sort of suspect that this is a veteran day uh they can't just put veteran rest even though some teams do so you usually have to put some sort of ailment it's like how with the Patriots Tom Brady was always limited with a knee injury or questionable on the injury report with a knee injury even though never happened never happened uh also working back as Christian Derisaw with the groin was limited uh I would love to see Derisaw at least active on game day, not necessarily just plopping him in as the starter at left tackle uh, in his first action in the NFL, but coming in, six offensive linemen, extra tight end and goal line situations go ahead. Also, Everson Griffin, who suffered a concussion on Thursday uh, in a reported single car crash, swerving to miss a deer. Uh, he's working back in the concussion protocol, was limited, uh, should be available for Sunday against his uh, former college coach, Pete Carroll. Also, Long suspected flirtation that he would join the Seahawks never really came to fruition. Also, Eric Kendricks listed with a hip injury. Remember, he missed Thursday uh, last week with a quad injury, uh, but practiced in full on Friday and it was a rock star Sunday uh, against Arizona. So I don't really you know, put too much stock in it. Hopefully the two injuries aren't related. Well, actually, maybe they are related. Maybe it's a new injury. Maybe he's got a hip and a quad. I don't know. Don't want to put that bad juju out in the universe, but uh, hopefully 54 will be ready to rock and roll. It's also a good sign that Nick Candlelight Vigil, who was listed all last week with an ankle, uh, is officially off the injury report. So uh, that's the Vikings injury report for Wednesday, the first day of practice, getting ready to take on Seattle Sunday afternoon, U.S. Bank Stadium. Get this damn season back on track. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, that work, pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull production value.